the FT55CM color sensor has two different modes. There's color mode and best fit mode. This video will explain how to configure each of those and when to use which mode. In color mode, you teach a color and then set a tolerance. You can see that C1 has a narrow tolerance and C2 has a larger tolerance. For best fit mode, you have to teach two colors and the sensor will determine uh, which one of these taut colors is closest to the one the sensor is looking at now. Color mode. This diagram shows a color space and there's three taut colors in e the center of each circle is where each particular color was taut. The circle around that shows the tolerance setting for each color. So the sensor would switch on whenever the color is anywhere within any of those three circles. Color mode is the traditional way color sensors have been taught. You put the target color below the sensor and to teach it, and you set a tolerance. When you have to verify that your production parts are all the same color or you have a tolerance specification, that's when you use color mode. Next, we'll cover quick teaching the sensor. You put the target below the light spot, press and hold the teach button. It counts down, the lights flash, we've taught color one. Next, we tap that to select tolerance, and we keep tapping it to adjust the tolerance one to nine. Then we tap tolerance again, and we've taught that sensor. Now let's test it. Here's another part, yellow light output is on, one is on. Again, yellow and one. Here we have a bad object, yellow and one were off. Best fit mode is for difficult applications. For example, if you have very close colors, it'll pick the closest one. Here again, we have the color space. You can see with three taut colors, if each taut color is in the middle of the C, anything within this space, for example, in the upper left corner around C1, any of those colors, including part of the yellow, will be classified as color one. Here's an example. We'll check the color of different bottle caps. Here we'll quick teach the blue one by pressing and holding teach for more than three seconds. Then we'll tap next. Teach color two, we'll press and hold for more than three seconds. Two, one, we've taught green. Now we'll teach the background. Press and hold teach. Three, two, one. Okay. And now we'll check it. One, two. And look at this depth of field. You keep moving it and it still, even at angles, detects its color too. Next we'll teach red felt and red leather in best fit mode. First the felt, we'll quick teach by pressing and holding the teach button. There we've taught one. Next we've selected two. You can see the square around the number two. Press and hold the teach button for three seconds. Two, one. Next. And we'll teach the background. Press and hold to teach the background, so that's sort of the three colors. And now it'll pick the closest color. With the felt, one, number one. With the leather, two, even at various angles and distances. So you see you can safely classify parts by color with this sensor. Also in a large depth of field and at different angles. And this is due to the patent pending distance correction, which is in all models of this FT55CM. In this next example, we have three dark plastic parts that look similar. They're actually brown, blue, and black. This sensor has red, green, blue, and intensity available in your PLC over IO link. So this is what we have with the black background. Here is a white sheet of paper. And now we've got these three test parts that are similar colored black plastic. They're all very dark. This first one is blue or black, I can't tell. And the second one must be black, <laughs> just from what the sensor told us. And the third is brown. But you can see how similar they are, but yet uh, here in the first band, the blue is higher, and here in, with the brown, the, the red is higher. So you can distinguish these three parts. 
when you have really close colors and have to use best fit mode, the sensor will always output one of the taut colors as a found color. And if you have a specification tolerance for a color, obviously that won't work. But you can combine the best of both methods by using the sensor in best fit mode and then sending the data out IO link into your PLC. And you can see here in IO link, you have the energy value, the blue, green, and red data. So you can set up the tolerances like color mode in your PLC. And again, let the sensor do the best fit. Here's some special features available only in color mode. You can switch between normally open, normally closed. You can do a one shot, an on delay, an off delay, or a counter function. And the color scan. This is where if your master part has many different shades of a color, for example, the leather, you can teach all of the colors in scan mode. The other thing it could be used for is if the parts are vibrating or presented at multiple angles, you could use it for scan mode when you teach each color. The sensor is available in different models with three or five outputs that let you teach seven or 12 colors. The whole family is IP66 and IP69, Echo Lab certified, and has IO Link. In the comments below, you'll find links to the different sections of this video so you can skip right to the point you want to review.